These reproduce through a process that involves the participation of three different types of bees in the hive, the queen bee, drones, and workers. In this video from The Daily Echo, we explain the process of bee reproduction. Let's get started! The queen bee. The hive has a single queen bee whose primary function is to lay eggs and maintain the colony. Once the queen bee reaches sexual maturity, which occurs around five days of age, she leaves the hive to perform the mating flight or nuptial flight. During this flight, drones, which are the male bees, approach her and mate with her in the air. A single mating is enough for the queen bee to collect enough sperm stored in her spermafica for her entire life. Drones, these are the male bees in the hive, and their sole purpose is to mate with the queen during the nuptial flight. They have a very specific reproductive role and do not participate in other hive tasks, such as collecting nectar or pollen. Once a drone has mated with the queen bee, his reproductive task is complete, and most drones die after this process. Worker bees. Worker bees are females, but they are not fertile and do not have the ability to lay eggs. Their primary function is to maintain the hive and perform various tasks, such as collecting food, caring for larvae and the queen, building and repairing honeycombs, among other essential functions for the hive's operation. Before we continue, let's test your knowledge. Which of the following statements about honeybees is true? A. They are native to North America. B. They are only found in tropical and subtropical regions. C. They are important pollinators for agricultural crops and wild plants. D. They are carnivorous insects that feed on other insects. Think carefully, because at the end of the video, you can check if you got it right. Curiosities about bee reproduction. The queen bee can lay up to 1,500 eggs per day throughout her life. However, sometimes the queen may have some physical limitations that prevent her from laying a sufficient volume of eggs to regenerate the hive's population. In these cases, worker bees create a new queen. It's important to highlight that the process of bee reproduction is crucial for the survival and growth of the colony. The queen bee is the only one capable of laying eggs and is responsible for expanding the hive's population. Worker bees, on the other hand, ensure the care and feeding of the larvae, including raising new queens when necessary. The reproductive cycle of bees is a fascinating display of organization and cooperation within a hive, and their role in plant pollination is vital for ecosystem balance and food production in our environment. And going back to the question we asked you earlier, have you thought it over? The correct answer is C. They are important pollinators for agricultural crops and wild plants. Honey bees are crucial pollinators for many plant species, including agricultural crops and wild plants. Their role in pollination is essential for the production of fruits, vegetables, and seeds. Tell us, would you like to learn more about bees? Until next time, eco-friends!